This is going to be a Char Thief Deadly Arts Dash DP full match ranked commentary. And the meta right now would probably be Shadow Arts DP, but I feel like that there are a lot of ways that you can just get one shot, even if you're playing Shadow Arts, if you're playing too aggressively. I like to play aggressively, and the thing about Deadly Arts is you actually have more stun breaks as Deadly Arts than Shadow Arts because you have Improvisation, which has two out of three chance to give you a stun break because two of your utilities are stun breaks. So it fits the playstyle of being more aggressive because I put myself in situations where I can get stunned more often as opposed to playing Shadow Arts and just going perma stealth and instead of breaking stuns you just avoid them completely. So right off the bat we're gonna go in and start focusing targets because the role of Thief is to get kills for your team and I'm looking at mid I see that no one's on mid so I'm gonna just keep going for the kill there's no reason to cap it um, we got the S out of the engineer and I haven't used steel so this is gonna secure the kill I just need to land steel and then I'm gonna cleave this out I see an enemy lich so I'm just gonna be very safe and now at this point my team is actually kind of losing the fight and I'm realizing that even if we do win this fight or start to win this fight I'm not going to really get anything out of it, but I do see that the enemy goes down, so I do want to prevent my team from losing. So instead of capping, I'm going to go to prevent this from happening. They do kind of rally anyways, or don't rally, so this is kind of an unfortunate situation, but I'm just chasing the enemy thief as closely as possible because I don't want them leaving the fight and then creating trouble elsewhere. But they do get out because of Shadow Arts. And I can't really find where they've gone unless I see on the map. So I'm just gonna cap middle. And one thing that my team is really lacking because of what I just did is node holders. Node holders are very important and it's really not your job as a thief to cap or defend nodes. So the fact that I'm even there is kind of bad. So. What I really need is for my teammates to do that for me so I can do my job of getting them kills, right? So here, I can go for the decap, but if I do go for the decap, then the enemy necro is just going to come to me and kill me because they'll have an advantage. So what I do is I instead go for an off node kind of aggression. And then as soon as I see that the enemy necro goes in the shroud, then I go for the decap. And what I'm doing here is I'm playing around their shroud entrance and exit by basically doing damage when they aren't in shroud and then trying to do rotational plays when they are in shroud because you're not really going to get all their shroud gone anyways. You need to be working on their main health bar. So I kind of did a strategic play there to get this kill in the 1v1, which is a very unfavorable matchup. But because this is their home node, I'm not going to be able to hold that versus a core necro, so I'm going to immediately go to mid, let that necro get the decap on his far node, or on my far node, and then just try to get kills at mid. I see that the enemy core guardian, which is a burn guardian, is at middle, and I can get kills here if my team is around, but they're kind of not around, so instead of continuing to 1v1 this, I chase their target, so I retarget onto the engineer even though we're not really getting progression towards the objective here. So you're, you're noticing a sort of a trend here. My team doesn't really like to go for the objectives. And while it is true that you do want to go for kills before you go for objectives, this is a little bit over the top for my uh, team to be tunnel visioning this hard off the node. And I actually don't rally on the kills here. So we're in a quite a predicament here uh, we're in a losing fight at this point and we also don't own the map so we're looking to get snowballed pretty hard and now I'm going to respawn so immediately what I see here is we're losing the map I need to go and take things into my own hands because I can't really trust my teammates to rotate so I'm just gonna go home myself and do 
what I can. You know, I can't do much because I'm just a thief, but I guess they're a thief too, so I can at least get one thing by myself. And yeah, we're pretty far behind, almost 100 points, but it's still not over. One thing is you never want to give up because Guild Wars 2 is a game based around nodes. And as long as you don't let them get any nodes, you can win 0 to 499 if you just gain 500 points before they gain a single one, right? But basically, you just have to create a situation where your team can get a snowball and then kind of maintain control of the map after that. So what I'm doing right now is trying to get control of the map and then once we do get control of the map, I want to play a more defensive kind of role and sort of like chase kills on players who are trying to aggress nodes rather than ones that are trying to defend nodes. So right now I'm trying to kill players who are defending nodes and trying to debunk the map. But of course, it's going to be difficult because we're a little bit outnumbered here and we do have side nodes. So we are in a somewhat favorable position on the map so long as we do not die here. So right now I'm trying to put pressure on the Necromancer. I use Dagger Storm to fill in the gap between their shroud cooldown and my teammate immediately goes down. So I'm stuck in a really bad position here and I don't land a crit on that backstab, so that's very unfortunate. They don't go down, and I have to be very careful because I will die here if I stay any longer, so I'm just disengaging. I use my shadow step to get out of range, and I am a little bit scared that the enemy thief is chasing me, so I'm just looking at the map, and I see that the thief is sort of going towards his home node, so I know that I can go back into middle. Now, the Necro is a little bit low on health, so I do attempt to go for the kill here. I've taken a lot of weakness, so I cleanse that along with the fear, and I'm just saving my steel for when they leave Shroud, because I do want to prevent them. Well, I didn't. I didn't do it there, but I should have. And if I did do that, I would have prevented them from escaping like they did and stalling this kill. So this is kind of unfortunate because we're in a 2v2. I've got low cooldowns. The enemy Necro does as well. Now it's actually a 2v3 because the thief is on me. So I have to be really careful here. And they do finally get the kill on the Necro here. So I'm just going to ensure that we get the kill very safely with some shortbow cleave from afar. And it looks like the bounces are doing really good work here. And the enemy thief got so much pressured by that that they might even go down here too. So now we'll get the kill from this Condi on the thief and now I'm just going to try to prevent the engineer from rezzing. I need to be very safe though even though I have my shadow return I could die to you know one thing that the hollow just lands a, a CC chain on me and then I'll be dead so got to be careful there. We do have two kills now so this is a very good situation this is what I'm talking about. We need to get those kills and then once we get the kills we get the map and then from this position now I have to understand, well, the thief is going to respawn now, and if the thief goes for a decap on home, then he's just going to decap middle right after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on where the thief goes after he respawns, and I'm going to prevent him from decapping as much as possible because we're in a really good position here. So because I prevent him from getting the decap on home, I'm also sort of preventing the decap on middle because I'm going to chase him there afterwards. And I'm also just kind of checking out if he decides to stay because you can do a little bit of play there where he could have juked me and get the decap anyways. So I'm defending mid now and I don't really need to do too much to defend it because this thief is using most of their abilities to move around the map which means they're low on initiative. And that means they're also a very easy pickings here so I can chase the kill. And this is one of the reasons why I think that the Sherpo 5 nerf to 8 initiative is really good because thieves who just run around trying to decap all game, they leave themselves very vulnerable because they don't have initiative to do anything else. So because of that, I was able to chase the kill and I basically kept two of our capped nodes while my team does whatever on far and now I can get this kill on this Necromancer because they're also low and I'm sort of defending mid at the same time. So 
we get that kill and I know that the thief is probably decapping home now they're just basically doing what they did last time before I killed them so I have a decision between capping mid or capping home and I decide to go home because I know that the thief is probably going to either decap that and then go back to mid and decap mid but they decide to full cap it so because they decide to full cap it I come to them so it's sort of like a chess kind of play there it's like well if he decaps it and then comes to mid well then I want to stay on mid but if he tries to full cap it then I want to go and prevent him from getting a full cap because then I keep a node and I prevent him from getting a node so that's sort of like a like rotational play there and now I'm just in a 1v1 with the thief I'm just playing aggressively I am a deadly arts thief so deadly arts has an advantage when you're playing for node because you don't have to go in stealth but shadow arts has an advantage if you don't play for node because you can just perma stealth and always get the opener so because we played for the node there um, I won and that's pretty much how you play dagger pistol thief as a char you gotta be super aggressive because that is how char work they are just ferocious but yeah anyways so yeah if you like this kind of video like it and subscribe for more and i will see you next time